Hi folks, my name is Leah and today I'm going to show you how to replace a uh, caulking around tub that, that's gone bad. As you can see, it's, it's starting to fray and it's even as mold. So we want to clean that out of there and put down some fresh uh, caulking. So let me show you the tools you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need some compressed air, a razor blade scraper, you don't have to have a Dremel, but I'll tell you, it's very convenient. And a scraper. Now, this is what we're going to use for the removal of the old caulking. When it comes time to re-caulk, then I'll show you the tools you will need for that. Okay, I'm going to use the Dremel first. And again, like I said, you don't have to have one of these tools, but oh my goodness, they're so handy. Uh, the blade is just the scraper blade. Now I can't talk when the Dremel is on because you, you never be able to hear me but one of the things that I want to say is when you when you're working with the Dremel, alright, okay, so there's a lip on the other side of the tile, okay, so you don't have to worry about going all the way through, you're not going to, because that little lip is the tub. So now I want to demonstrate with uh, just a scraper, uh, it's a lot harder, and you would do the same thing, you run it along the bottom as best you can. So you got to use you got to use some elbow grease, as you can see, it's, it's not that easy to go through with just a regular scraper, but, you, but it can be done. So I've successfully cut through most of the caulking. Now it's time to, to remove it, okay? And as you can see, some of it has already started to come out on its own, so we may have to tug it. Most of it comes away pretty freely. Make certain that you're careful that you don't chip the, um, the ceramic tile. Now I'm, I'm going to use a, a razor knife here to uh, get some of the residue. You know, there's some residue here that you can't get up with the, uh, with the Dremel. And so if you, you use a razor knife, I like these because, you know, it, it holds a safety razor and uh, it only costs 99 cents. And it's so convenient for doing a job just like this one. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray away all the debris. I like to use the uh, um, duster that you would use on a computer board because it's perfect for tight areas. So we're gonna shake it up pretty well and let's just go. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is just clean all the residue off, just in case there's a little soap scum. I've done a pretty good job of cleaning the tile off, and now I'm just going to clean the tub off as well. Help the, uh, the new uh, caulk adhere if, it's, if we've got a clean surface, just like with anything you do. Now the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need blue masking tape or blue painters tape. This is going to make the caulking job less messy and look more professional. You're going to be amazed when we pull off the tape just how clean it will look. Okay, so we're going to place the tape oh, just like so. Okay, so you want the tape to be about a quarter or a half inch away, no more than a half inch. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the tile. Now it's time to move on to the caulking portion of the job. Let me just draw your attention to a couple of products. Move on in. This is a silicone. You want to use silicone, and you want to use a silicone with a um, with mildew protection. 
both these products have mildew protection and you also want to make certain that you're using silicone because that's really designed for water now I, I have uh, the tube silicone tub and tile that you insert into a caulking gun and I have the kind that you just take off the cap and squirt you know, depending upon whether or not you want to invest in a caulking gun or you just want to invest in the product, that's a personal decision, but I'm going to show you how to use both. Regardless of which product you use, you're going to have to cut the tip off with a utility knife. Now, the next two items I have here is a spoon and a pair of gloves. You really don't need either, but let me tell you, it's so convenient and this is why. This silicon, once it gets on your hands, very, very difficult to get off because it's not soap and water cleanup. So you want to protect your hands. And a lot of people, they like to put silicon on with their fingertip, with a wet fingertip. Nothing wrong with that, but again, silicon is a very difficult substance to get off your hands. So what I like to do is I like to use rubber gloves if I'm using my finger to smooth out the caulk. Or you can just use a plastic spoon. Now I'm going to show you how to load the caulk gun. I've cut off the tip and you'll caulk guns come with this, a lot of them do. Now there are some that do not, but many of them come with a little tool that you pull up and you insert that into the tip of the caulk and that breaks the plastic seal. If you don't do that, you can pull the trigger on a caulk gun forever and nothing's going to come out the tip. So I want to clean that off and it's always a good idea to have some paper towels available. So I'll clean it off and put it back. So now I'm going to show you how to load the caulk gun. It's easy. Pull back on it like so. And you insert your caulking. You're going to have to pull back on it so it fits in this little lip here. Push it back on the handle. And once you're ready to go, all you have to do is pull the trigger. Now I'm going to show you how to lay down the tape. Come on in close. You want to run your finger across the edge of the tape to make certain that it's secure and that no caulking bleeds through because what's going to happen is when you start to pull the tape you don't want you want a nice clean line and this is going to assure that. Okay so now it's time to demonstrate um, the tube type. This is just the caulking that you squirt in. So I'm going to do the small section first and show you how it's done. What you want to do is you want to lay down a generous bead. And that's what we're going to do here. Just laying down a generous bead. Now, there's a little gap underneath the tile. You want to make certain that you put enough in to fill the gap. Don't worry that it's not smooth, okay? Because we're going to come back over it. Now, I'm going to show you how to... Um, finish the caulking that we just applied. I'm going to, the first method I'm going to show you is the water and finger method. So you want to dip your finger, you want to submerge it in water, and now we're going to use the finger to go over the caulking. But again, it's so very, very important to use water and you want to have a paper towel handy because it can get messy. And you want to confine your movement to inside the tape. Don't get any caulking on the bathtub because then it's going to be very difficult to clean up and that's why we have tape now. So let me show you how it's done. Here we go. Okay, now we're going to do the uh, spoon method and you want to dip that plastic spoon in water and you want it to be a clean spoon. So here we go.
Okay, so I've got this buildup of uh, what we cleaned off as we, you know, we drew the uh, spoon across the caulking. And you have always want to work with a clean spoon. So you want to make certain that, I got another paper towel because I want to make certain that, that that spoon is clean. You don't want any caulking residue on it because it will interfere with the finished product. I'm going to show you now how to use the gun. I prefer the gun method because you're really able to move quickly. Come on in close, let me show you. You want to set up your tip where you're going to apply the caulking. Pull the trigger of the gun. Take a look at the gun trigger. This is it. Pull that trigger and just squeeze and go. You want to dip that spoon in water, start at the corner, and apply pressure. Here we go. Okay, now we've got this section uh, down the side of the tub. We need to do as well. And I got to tell you, it gets kind of tricky trying to transition um, new into something that you've already done, even though it's just been a matter of minutes. That silicone is starting to set. So I wish there was some trick that I could teach you or demonstrate on how to transition it in, but there just isn't. You just have to do the best you can. So make certain that spoon is clean, dip it in water, and get ready to go. Here we go. That's it. Now folks, I have a very important tip. Once you lay the caulk down, you have to pull that tape immediately. Don't wait. Don't wait 10 minutes. Don't wait 15 minutes. Pull it immediately. Because if you don't, you're going to have a mess. That top layer of caulk will start to set and it will be wet underneath. You'll just have a mess. Trust what Lee is telling you. Pull that tape. So you pull the, remove the tape like so and notice a nice clean line it leaves. Go slowly. So the job is finished and I got to tell you this is the kind of job that you well you don't want to pay someone else to do for you because the materials cost so little and I'm not even certain you'd be able to get somebody out to do it. And this is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.